Brooks like spent over a decade playing in the NHL, including his final year with the Kings in 2018. Well, now he's retired and like found a way to channel his love of traveling and adventure by starting the company in 2020 called World Playground. It's dedicated to bringing bucket list adventure travels to a growing community of over 700 members. I recently spoke with Brooks. After 13 seasons in the NHL, um, you retire, part of the Kings organization mm -hmm. at that time. Um, and then what? A lot of athletes retire and they think, what's next? What was next for you? Well, that's the journey, right? After retirement, after hockey, um, what are you going to do next? What do you want to do next? And so much of our life is consumed with, with training, with playing, with watching video, with pouring into our career. Um, that we really don't look at the rest of the world. You're kind of tunnel vision. I tried different things. I tried things I liked and I was curious about, but I found out that I had just done something I loved for the past 13 years. I can't for the rest of my life do something I like. I need to find something that I love to do. And so I just started paying attention to what I was gravitating towards. And for me, that was adventure and travel. After a long hockey career, I mean, I, I, you also played in the World Championships, right? That yep. was in Germany. Was that a time that sort of piqued your interest in, in world travel? My dad was born in Germany. Ah. And the tournament happened to be in Germany. And so we got to go around Germany with my dad. I got to visit some amazing castles in Germany during that tournament. Um, and I was always fascinated by travel, but never had time to do it. As a professional athlete, you're busy. You're, you're in the gym or on the ice for 11 and a half months a year. You take one week after the season ends to get in some sort of little quick bucket list adventure, like let me go do something and then it's back to training. And that's the life of a professional athlete for 15 years. And then you come out of that and you have resources, you've saved money, you've done well, and you have time. And not only that, like, what to do with this time? Now an abundance of energy, like I got all this energy, I don't know what to do with, I don't have to put it into a hockey game or practice, like what do I do with all this energy? Let's go create something fun, let's go do something fun with people. Um, and how can we make adventure travel more affordable for our community? So you started World Playground at the beginning of a pandemic. Yeah. Um, was this like, hey, I've got a lot of time to think about things? And it's a kind of a, I mean, you're far more productive than a lot of people were during that time. Uh, <laughs> it was it was an idea that I had. I got, I used to sign autographs for kids uh, to Jamie. The world is your playground, Brooks like 21. I wanted kids to look at the world as a place of opportunity and possibility and pursue whatever in the world they wanted to do. Came up clear with this identity like, hey, bring your bucket list adventures to us. We're gonna do the best adventures around the world in the best place at the best time so that you can go check, I did that thing on my bucket list. And so now we take people around the world. We have an, an amazing, inspiring adventure community and we go to the best places in the world to just do bucket list things. What's your ultimate vision for World Playground? Oh, <laughs> just do awesome things with awesome people in the most incredible places around the world. So much of my life was competition and rivalry and conflict. And now I just want to love people and give to people and adventure with people and experience people and culture and travel and leave every place better than we found it. We want to go to places that need service, that need projects, social projects. We want to make an impact there. Come join our community of wonderful people. Find your trusted network of travelers and let's go have some fun. How fun does that sound? World Playground's next destination was announced earlier today. It is, drum roll please, the Maldives. So if you want to check it out, be sure to visit worldplayground.co, not .com, .co. And uh, you can also search World Playground across all social media channels. But uh, sounds like a great time, I'll tell you. I'm sort of daydreaming just thinking about it.